The skies above us are a constant source of wonder. In the 1980s, a new generation of aerial hunters was on the horizon, born from the need for speed and stealth. This was the era of the advanced tactical fighter program, a competition to create the next air superiority fighter for the United States Air Force. Among the contenders, two aircraft emerged as frontrunners, the Lockheed YF-22 and the Northrop YF-23, known as the Black Widow II. The YF-23 was a radical departure from traditional fighter jet design, built for speed, agility and stealth. The competition between the YF-22 and the YF-23 was fierce, a testament to the ingenuity of both design teams. The Air Force meticulously evaluated both contenders, putting them through rigorous flight tests and simulations to determine which aircraft would ultimately claim victory. The anticipation surrounding the YF-23 reached fever pitch on August 27, 1990, when the first prototype took to the skies for its maiden flight. The Black Widow II soared through the air with grace and agility, its powerful engines propelling it to supersonic speeds. Pilots were impressed by the aircraft's responsiveness and ease of handling, praising its intuitive controls and exceptional maneuverability. The Black Widow II effortlessly transitioned between high-speed dashes and tight turns, demonstrating its ability to outmaneuver potential adversaries. Its advanced fly-by-wire flight control system provided exceptional stability and control, even at high angles of attack. The aircraft's aerodynamic design, coupled with its powerful engines, allowed it to achieve supersonic speeds without the use of afterburners, a feat known as supercruise. This capability gave the Black Widow II a significant advantage in combat, allowing it to quickly engage or evade enemy aircraft. One of the most remarkable aspects of the YF-23 was its stealth capabilities. The aircraft's design incorporated features specifically engineered to minimize its radar signature, making it incredibly difficult for enemy radar systems to detect. Its sleek, blended fuselage, lacking in right angles and sharp edges, deflected radar waves away from the source. The Black Widow II's engines were also designed with stealth in mind, with inlets shaped to minimize radar reflections and exhaust nozzles flattened to reduce heat signatures. These features, combined with radar-absorbent materials, made the YF-23 a formidable opponent in the skies, capable of slipping past enemy defences undetected. In simulated combat exercises, the YF-23 consistently outperformed its rivals in terms of stealth and sensor evasion, proving itself a highly capable stealth aircraft. Section 4. The Raptor's Talons Despite its impressive capabilities, the YF-23 ultimately lost the ATF competition to the Lockheed YF-22, which would go on to become the F-22 Raptor, while the Black Widow II excelled in terms of supersonic speed and stealth. The Raptor had its own strengths, particularly in agility and maneuverability. The YF-22's thrust vectoring nozzles, which allowed it to direct its engine exhaust in different directions, gave it exceptional maneuverability at low speeds. This strategic approach, combined with the YF-22's performance in key areas, ultimately tipped the scales in its favour. Section 5. A Legacy Grounded Although the YF-23 never entered full-scale production, its legacy lives on. The two prototypes built, nicknamed Grey Ghost and Spider, are now museum pieces, testaments to the ingenuity and innovation of the Northrop design team. The YF-23's advanced technologies and design philosophies continue to influence the development of modern fighter jets. Its emphasis on stealth, supersonic cruise and sensor fusion paved the way for a new generation of combat aircraft. While the Black Widow II may not have achieved active service, its story is a testament to the relentless pursuit of technological advancement and the enduring allure of flight.